Hi, Carol Andrews for another episode of Southwest TV News. Here are some of the stories coming up on today's show. Earlier this year, Swiftgard embarked on the road to Hockeyville. And thanks to your online support, the city picked up a prize of $25,000. The 10th annual Windscape Kite Festival has become a summer tradition in Swift Current, attracting kite flyers and other patrons from across Canada and around the world. With school now out for the summer months and students busy with a variety of activities at the lake and abroad, Southwest Crisis Services is offering a camp for girls in junior high. Thanks for joining us here today. Representatives from Craft Canada are in Swift Current this week to make a special presentation. We have more in today's top story. Earlier this year, Swift Current embarked on the road to Hockeyville. And thanks to your online support, the city picked up a prize of $25,000. The official presentation was made at the Saskatchewan Hockey Hall of Fame in Swift Current earlier this week with Craft Canada reps on hand. This has been one of the biggest and best installments of it yet. Um, to date, and uh, the, the amount of participation we had was overwhelming, and uh, we just we just love that it brings Canada and, and all the communities together around hockey because hockey is really the, the center of of the community in, in so many places. So it's fantastic. A twenty-five thousand dollar cash injection for the Iplex and the community in general, which coincides with the city centennial. Yeah, absolutely. You know what? It's uh, uh, hockey is a big part of uh, this community. It's a big part of Saskatchewan. But uh, you know what? We think we're unique uh, with the size of our community, having the Broncos, and it was a great partnership with them. And the Hockey Hall of Fame is a huge addition to our community. And it's great that we got guys like Zach out here this afternoon. You know, the Broncos and Zach embody everything that young kids uh, start playing hockey for, as they want to play for the Broncos and they want to play in the NHL. And uh, yeah, overall, it's a good day and a great start to the week. And now with the check for twenty-five thousand dollars from Kraft, the city will move forward with a number of projects. Well, I think our original intentions were if we, if we got the main prize, which was uh, 100000 we had uh, uh, a few more ideas in regards to meeting some, some real serious mobility challenges around the rink that we'd like to. Um, but I think our intentions always were that we would partner with the Broncos to, to look after a, a memorial-type legacy uh, for the Broncos and the four players who, who uh, passed away. Um, so that would be one of our, our areas of focus. And... And I think as well we would use, uh, once again, the remaining funds to, to complement or, or make better the, the accessibility issues around, around the IPLEX. We did a lot of work with our renovations in 2006 and 2007. However, the building is a lot older than that, the original structure, so that's where we'd be focusing most of the funds towards. The Craft Hockeyville contest is one of several initiatives the company has throughout the year, alongside the Craft Summer Tour, which is now hitting the road across Canada once again supporting local communities and making dreams a reality. <music> Southwest TV News is hitting the road with our annual Summer Around the Southwest Tour, covering a variety of exciting events across the region. The Southwest TV News Summer Around the Southwest Tour is proudly brought to you by Innovation Credit Union. Imagine the possibilities. The annual Windscape Kite Festival was another hit this past weekend and another stop in our Southwest TV News Summer Around the Southwest Tour. This Southwest TV News Summer Around the Southwest feature is proudly brought to you by Innovation Credit Union. Imagine the possibilities. The 10th annual Windscape Kite Festival has become a summer tradition in Swift Current, attracting kite flyers and other patrons from across Canada and around the world. The two-day event offers a range of activities for all ages, from the opportunity to fly your own kite, watch the professionals showcase their talents across the prairie sky, or search for hidden treasures. This year's event in Swift Current also gave attendees the chance to participate in an afternoon workshop to hone their skills. Wayne Marshall of Calgary has attended Windscape for a number of years and was eager to learn a few tricks of the trade from the 180 Go crew. 
So I wanted to learn how to fly upside down. And so that's, they gave me a few lessons earlier today. And so now I need to, I'm getting it, but I need just to practice. And I also wanted to fly what they call side by side. So that's what we were doing here just at the last. So following each other and then doing commands kind of thing. And so one guy would tell you what he wants you to do. And so that's what you do. So I wanted to learn how to do that. While for others like Ree Olson and her son Jeremy, the Windscape Kite Festival has become a tradition the two share as quality family time for this one weekend every June. A couple of years ago, my husband had a heart attack just a few weeks before this event. And it was, it was that year that um, my son Jeremy and I just came out uh, to just spend some quality time together after, after Michael was back home and he was convalescing and everything was okay. It's just that it was such a tumultuous time for us and, and it was, we just, we didn't know it yet, but we needed to just connect. And so we came to uh, Windscape just to spend the day together and we bought kites like we always do. And we sat on a stray, uh, straw bale and we just um, we sat together and talked and flew this flew his kite and my kite and we oh, it crashed a few times but it was lots of fun we had lots of giggles and but then just when you catch a wind like this and you just you can just sit and watch it it was so peaceful it was the perfect perfect wind it was just the perfect day perfect amount of sunshine and he uh, it makes me emotional because he cuddled up to me and said mom this is just the perfect day and I'm so happy to be with you. And you just kind of appreciate the, un, like what I say, the unplugged moments. Long lasting memories, which are seen through the excitement in their faces to the kite chosen for the festival. My mom has, she likes butterflies. So she got a butterfly kite and I like blue jays and my nickname is Jaybird. So um, we bought a kite that looks like a blue jay and my favorite color is blue, so that's pretty nice. A feeling of peacefulness and tranquility while getting away from the hustle and bustle of the work week, which is all created by just letting the wind take you away. It is mesmerizing. You know how we watch fire, right? We will sit around and we'll just be mesmerized by a campfire. Well, earth, wind, fire, we're all, it's all connected. And there's something really, um, I don't know, transcendent about just playing with, with what nature has provided. It's so much fun, but it's also so much wonder. The Windscape Kite Festival continues to be a drawing card for families and other kite enthusiasts each summer and has become a key tourism attraction for Swift Current and the province as a whole. Omen School will be the host site of a special girls' camp this August. We have more in this report. With school now out for the summer months and students busy with a variety of activities at the lake and abroad, Southwest Crisis Services is offering a camp for girls in junior high. Christine Siona is well known in the community for her work as a drama arts therapist and will lead this summer camp. A week-long camp involving guest speakers bringing their expertise in yoga, meditation, sports, and more to the table. And the Peaceful Communities Initiatives is looking at ways that communities can create peaceful communities. So Southwest Crisis Services actually did a lot of work and research the last couple of years with our community, looking at what are the needs, what are the best ways to move forward to end violence and to create a peaceful community. And one of the big things that came up was supporting our young people and in particular supporting our young women and the young girls in our community. And what a great opportunity we have as a violence prevention educator with the support of Southwest Crisis Services to create something that's never been done before, to lift up and stand with and rise up along with the youth and the young women of our town. So out of that came Free to Be Girls. Woohoo! And it's happening this summer. It's an empowerment camp for teen girls. A new project which coincides with the ongoing services offered by Southwest Crisis Services. We want um, those young ladies to make good choices in their future endeavors. And so if we can help them make good choices today and in their schools and throughout their life, um, then possibly we can help end violence. The Free to Be Girls Camp has become a reality through a partnership with the host venue of OM Irwin School and grant funding from Saskatchewan Lotteries and the City of Swift Current. 
More details on the upcoming Free to Be Girls summer camp and registration fees are all available by calling Southwest Crisis Services. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at mylocaltv.ca. And be sure to follow us on a range of social media. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.